Welcome to the Patreon. I had this thing sticking in my hand so fucking good. You guys should have saw it. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, Danny. I'll get that. <laughs> You're acting like an unruly teen right now. I'm pumped, man. That yeah. was fun. I'm 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 charged right now. I'm charged with energy. That was a that was a lot of fun. You're that all was, the way up. That was sliding the motherfucking page, bro. When you were uh, when you were a kid and you got out of the shower and uh especially in the winter time and you had steam coming off of your body, did you ever pretend in your mind you were a Mortal Kombat character? No, nah, you know what? I I remember bath time being like very cold and being pissed about it. When yeah, I was little. That was what my mom would always tell me. She's like the little boys from Texas run naked to the bedroom, like stop being a baby, and I'd be like, I was a Terminator arriving. I remember I did this weird thing where I would curl up on the ground in a ball with my towel over me like a shell, naked. That's kind of sick. Yeah, <laughs> probably because I was cold usually <laughs> and I didn't want to be cold while I put clothes on to get warm uh, And I would yeah. just cower under a wet towel on the ground until that got cold And then I'd be like forced to finally throw on some fucking uh, face the element Batman on these <laughs> 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 Yeah, I, I, so here's a here's a long here's the thing I've been denying for my entire life so uh, I used to uh, I used to get out of the shower and then dry myself off with like somebody else's towel that was hanging up and then take my towel my dry towel oh, like, wrap it around you me fucking <laughs> dog dude ew man yes. you put penis particles I on people's towels i did not even that it's just dude. you're giving them wet towel wet towel dude, Bro, I, there, that's the real charge i've been under a lifetime of scrutiny for leaving what for possibly leaving my towels and yes it was me I was I was using other people's towels. Give and yourself a dry the coziness walk. of a dry You're towel. a fucking scoundrel, dude. Dude. <laughs> <clears throat> like there's times where I for, like I'll throw my towel in the wash and I forget to put a towel back up for myself. Uh, yeah. And I'll have to use Brit's towel and I go confess. I'm like, by the yeah. way, are you planning on getting a shower? Because I just use it. Dude, wet towel. Yeah, that's older brother shit though. I'm allowed to do that true i mean i wasn't a dick as an older brother i was a fun older brother but i did and well that's also and son i would do that to everybody i did to like whoever had a, the driest towel that's the towel i would dry i would like test towels to see which towel i was going to dry off yeah it's an acceptable older brother move for sure yeah i've never uh diabolical i've never whipped my kids with a kitchen towel mm. i feel like i might have fucked up by not doing that that might have been, that's something you got to feel from your dad. You ever see someone cry from that? Yeah, everyone who's ever had it done to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. That one didn't even hurt. Ah, <laughs> seriously. So if, you yeah. wet, if you wet the tip of it too, you can oh, really yeah. get a crack on that. Uh, and, oh, I made Anzi cry from a towel. Did you? I feel like oh everyone cries yeah. from that at some point. She, yeah. <laughs> she towel with me, and I was like, we're towel whipping? Yeah, you got it. And it back. was the weakest towel whip. She didn't know how to do it. Yeah. And I yeah. was like, I put the snap on those are these are forbidden martial arts yeah. once you learn this you just you you abuse it instantly yeah yeah dude that's fucking <laughs> i didn't that one i didn't even feel that it's, and then the next one ah! yeah. to be fair it hit her in the top of the foot because she tried to like jump away like we're like on yeah, the bed yeah. she like jump onto the bed and jump away and it hit her on the top of the foot on the toe or like the underside no, dude, of the, foot? The, the top like the Ooh. top of the foot Ooh, that's one of the worst places to get tattooed, I've heard. Yeah. Oh, that's that's, what, you, that's what you did to her. I tattooed her. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. That always sucks when you're messing around and then you take it too far and they cry and you go, fuck. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Yeah. I know, you dude, always dude. hurt me. Yeah, like, uh, like, no, I don't. Yeah. We were fucking around. You know I was fucking around. You know I was fucking around. Dude, I think that's the only time a guy can roll his eyes and it's not gay. True. When your chick is crying, you're like, what the fuck? Here it's, we go again. No, I'm kidding. Damn it. It's the worst. This is a, these are all just kidding. Yeah. Women are awesome. Yeah, when they cry, it stinks, though. Mm -hmm. I hate that. Really harsh is the vibe. It does. A lady crying is, it's like a biological... It, like it fucks you up at like a cellular level. You know why? Because they also there's an expectation of entire tonal change when a woman is crying. Like everything yeah. has to shift to the fact that they're crying. Yeah. I don't know what's the, <clears throat> the only one who's allowed to be stern with them while they're crying is their daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've said, you've taken daddy tone before during a cry. Um, I don't think so. Daddy tone during a cry <laughs> is tough. <laughs> if anything, it's a, like like what? Is, what is, let me hear daddy tone. If you're just like knock this shit off, don't fuck, don't you fucking give me that right now. That's not gonna. <laughs> oh no, I, can't, I could never. Not gonna I could never. Me. Don't yeah. you? That's not gonna work on me. Mm. Those alligator tears aren't gonna move me a fucking inch. I had <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get alligator tears? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was my sure. dad's top shit. Those alligator tears don't affect me at all. I mean, they're crocodile tears. Crocodile tears. I think you called them alligator Those tears. Those reptile tears. Now, dude, I was, uh, Your I, iguana jizz isn't going to move me, you know. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, one, one time when Ansley, like, got upset, so we were, we were playing, uh, we, were, we were chasing each other in the snow and tackling each other. And like yeah. she got away from me, and like I ran and jumped and grabbed her and tackled. It was like four feet of snow, like three feet of snow. Tore ACL. Yeah, no, dude, it was just, it was it was just 50 feet of fresh powder down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, she just face planted. It's, it's it. And, oh. and, 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 nice, and nice snow. A whitewash. Yeah, she nice soft snow, right? And uh, she got upset about that. And I remember. What year was this? It was like. Same year oh, Dumb and Dumber came out. 506. Five. Oh, 19, yeah, 2000, 2000. Oh, 05, 06. Yeah, we've been together for a long time. You got to keep it. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying to go through all the ice blizzards I know to see if you hit her in an ice storm. Yeah. Because if it was like some sleet mixed in there, dude, what was the nastiest, <laughs> what was the nastiest yeah. thing you could get in terms of like a snow punishment when you were a little kid? Do you remember the various punishments you could get? It was, I had to voluntarily shovel other people's. No, 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 no. I'm talking like, about like when an older like kid gets snow, you and beats snow. your ass in the snow. There was different oh, moves. Snow oh, down yeah, your, snow uh, down, the back of the down the neck yeah. hole. Yep. Ugh. Whitewash was a particularly brutal. Whitewash sucked, White but you kind of knew sucked. it was coming. Dude, yeah. you'd be like, dude, he fucking... You get, you got conditioned to being a whitewashed. Dude, I got... I That was like the end of it. Your face is all red. You have boogers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been snowball martyred? What's that? Where everybody is throwing the snowballs at you? Oh, like you're in the middle sure. and everybody Yeah, is I've, been hitting the I've been caught in the crossfire. No, no, not caught in the crossfire. The object, you're the object of yeah. everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm you're being stoned. Dude, we used to play a I'm game. I'm telling you, that's the bus drivers at the, yeah. at the end of their shift. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we used to play a game when I was little where it was me and my cousin and all of our older cousins would like, arrange, just like arrange like footballs, basketballs, tennis balls, all kinds of different sports balls. And we all the game was we ran back and forth while they pegged us with balls. Mm. We used to play this for like 10 minutes. I'm like, dude, this fucking blows it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was run the bases. You know, remember run the bases and you just go back and forth? Yeah, and yeah, You yeah. guys would catch and you peg them. Did you guys have, um, uh, we called it homo, but other places called it like red butt. And oh, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you throw the tennis ball at the wall. Red ball, yeah, it was like wall ball. And then there was always a different rule that just like maximized the bigger kids th winging it. <laughs> at smaller kids, it was like, oh, actually, I caught it with one hand, so I can peg any of you now. I get free pegs. There was the mythical you game, the blue balls. I don't know anyone who played blue um, balls. Yeah. There was the mythical game of blue balls where you had to stand with your dick, at, like not your dick out, but you had to stand dick towards the ball. That, I don't know anyone who played was, this. Wait, wait, what? The wild West. So you saying to me? Red, red butt is wall ball, where you like throw the ball at the wall, and if you catch it, you got to throw it back. And if you catch someone's and you throw it at the wall before they run to the wall, mm -hmm. they got to line up against the wall, and you get to like throw a tennis ball. At they the, yeah, yeah, they yeah. put their hands on the or wall. Or a racquetball. Okay. Okay. If you got a nasty cousin, he'll bring a racquetball. Yeah, but no, Ooh. this blue ball thing. What is this? Blue yeah, ball? so dude, that's red. Yeah. That's red. That was the only time I ever saw a blue ball was when my fucking cousins were around, dude. Other than that, it was a pen three. <laughs> Dude, an older cousin would come back with a rack. He would do his research and hit you with a racquetball, and you go, What the fuck? <laughs> Your parents are upstairs eating roast beef sandwiches, and you guys have no idea the fucking hurt locker on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, red butts when you peg someone, that's the punishment's getting pegged in the ass. Yeah. Pauls. And the. The other game people claim to have played blue balls where instead of getting pegged in the ass, you f you stand on the oh. ball and you expose your genitalia mm. and they can try to throw a ball as fast as pitch a ball <laughs> into your dick as hard as they can. Mm. I don't know anyone who's ever played this. I only hear claims of it. This is so mythical. I don't believe anyone's ever played blue balls. I, I think it's bullshit. Like how, how, how many degrees of separation between you and a person who played it? Was it told to you in a school? It'd be like your you friend's uncle it. who's in jail. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah gotcha. you're a kid. Like, we actually played blue balls one time. I went to, like, my one, my cousin's house in fucking Syracuse, New York. We actually played blue balls. And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> you guys played blue balls. <clears throat> fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that game ruled. But yeah, snow punishments fucking suck, dude. Do you think any of those dudes ever, like, just never grew out of lying all the time? For sure, dude. There was a guy who, uh, First day of grade school, he was in my brother's class. He claimed to have jumped the Grand Canyon on his bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone had to be like, dude, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he completely made up the most crazy whopper ever. Yeah. His dad was a secret agent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those kids are actually probably usually pretty abused. <laughs> I, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he led a rough life, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he, led a, he led a rough life. Yeah, that sucks, man. I have the type of kid that gets lice. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot more stories, but I don't, I don't want to give out identifying information on the man. Yeah. 
That's like those dudes grow up to be a guy that you work with who like shows you pictures of a car that he doesn't actually have, but he pretends it's his all the time. He's like, mm. uh, yeah, check it out. Yeah, I was just getting it washed. Yeah, that's my IROC Z. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is a fair story. The one time he, I like happened to bump into him just in some totally different city. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? But, you know, I was like, this is crazy. Do you know about this city? <laughs> dude, it was, he was just, I haven't seen this guy in years. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, dude, what are you up to? He's like, oh, I'm like, I'm managing this restaurant. I'm in charge of this old bar. Like, I run the whole thing. We go Bus in there, boy. we go in there, and dude, he like, and I'm like, yeah, well, he's in the guy. I was like, what? He's like, no, he fucking doesn't. He's like, a, literally, it was like a busboy. And they had, he had, he came back out, and he had, I was just like, I didn't say anything. Like, I was looking at the guy, he looked like me. I was like, to be fair, Ooh, let it live, let it with, live, the, with the amount of shit that gets put on the busboys, they're basically running a place. You know what I mean? Yeah, every busboy yeah. does think like this place <laughs> yeah, fall apart without basically, me. Well, they're basically running. I think he mistook. Like, I think he thought like if you do coke with everyone that works there, you like run the place too. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do fucking blow with the owner all the time. Basically, <laughs> partners. <laughs> basically, partners with him, dude. <laughs> sweat equity. I'm doing coke sweat equity with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love dudes yeah. like that. That just completely unbound by reality. <laughs> <laughs> you can live outside of it, but it does take a toll on you. <laughs> Too true, man. Too true. I play yeah. fast and loose with it as well. You got to shrink your world. You got to, you know, it's like you're ma it's easier to manage. Who I agree. Believes what? Yeah. You know, small circles, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> You'd rather be a real fragment than an unreal whole. I get you. I don't know what you just said. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it sounded philosophical. Like the tone, I fuck with the tone. So yes, <laughs> that's the whole idea of the pure alternus, the eternal child boy. They say some people suffer from the pure alternus. It's, it's like the Peter Pan syndrome, mm. where you never can get into one thing because you don't ever want to close off all your other possibilities. But you end up becoming an unreal whole. You're just living in your imagination rather than becoming a real fragment of a thing, just doing one thing. Oh shit! That that's got to be me. Stung me, man. I read that. <laughs> yeah. on that. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. dude. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. That, that was is painful that, to listen to. Was that the written? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that, that I feel like I was being exercised. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the description for stoner dads. Yeah. Oof. Why don't you put, why don't you <laughs> stuff that back in the bottle, man? <laughs> <laughs> that one <Yeah>. sucks. <laughs> yeah, I read that. It was like, <laughs> fuck, man. Mm. Yeah, it's a tough one. What a slam, dude. <laughs> Nasty young just sitting there writing psychology. He's like, This will fuck people up. Yeah, like, dude, how about fuck, keep that shit to your fucking self, <laughs> jerk? What am I supposed to do with that? I'm not a fucking INFP, dude. Shut up, man. <laughs> fuck you, dude. Can't, oh, can't capture man. how sick is stuff like that, though. How excited are you to find out which one you are? If you get a test the, like and that, then, and then you figure out like how it's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I'm actually an introverted extrovert, and that's actually kind of more rare than either one of them. So, freaking nature. Yeah, that's yeah, that that, that is it? that's the funny thing when people claim the rarity of their combination. Yeah. It's like it can't be. Well, an INFP yeah. is actually very rare. I'm an INFP. It's actually incredibly, <laughs> rare. It's incredibly rare. Incredibly rare. Look, it's like yeah. literally, I think three percent. I swear to God, look it up, dude. Oh, I'll get it right now. I mean, if, since you brought it up. <laughs> Wait, didn't we take a compatibility test at yes. one point? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was, was it romantic or social? Uh, I think ours is just general. I think, I think it might think have been romantic. Kind of romantic. It was kind of. I think romantic. it was a romantic compatibility <laughs> test. There's a PDF on my computer somewhere. <laughs> INFPs four, four, make four, up four percent of the general population. Told you, mm. dude. God damn. What's the most? What wow. makes up the most? Okay. Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. And I'm just saying, what percent? Yeah, like, zoom like, out on the chart. Duh. Oh, whoa. The ninth most common. I don't know. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many are there? That's the question. Yeah, I mean, like, the what ninth. percentages do they hold and what percent? The ninth. Like, is there, is there, are there inconclusive personalities out there? Or does everybody have to be some of these? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So the most common is ISFJ. What are those guys all about? Hate those guys. Known as the protector of. Oh, those fucking guys like, yo, dude, you better treat her right. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yo, I don't understand why yeah. guys are even real. Right. Yeah. These are troop supporters. Yeah. That's cool. 
that is like ancient chivalry in in the energy drink era. Yeah, those those guys, you know what I mean? Yeah, like those yeah. dudes that make those uh, the videos in their cars with the sunglasses on, talking about how you got to respect women. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's peasant core. <laughs> yeah, just chilling. That's in a, serious peasant yeah, core dude. stuff, dude. Chilling in a Mustang, being like, I'm going to share my thoughts on this vlog right now. Yeah. A lot of you aren't showing enough respect for the people who keep us safe. <laughs> <laughs> just arms big as fuck, <laughs> fully shaved head. <laughs> yeah, those guys are. That's. Yeah. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty cool existence. <laughs> I do like I, I like to think about that. Like, the, like, I mean, I think about it all the time. The real serious heads. I, f mm. I fantasize about those guys' jeeps actually being transformers and transforming with them inside and just mutilating them. <laughs> 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 just cutting them apart in three sections. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> 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 yeah, just a total sawmill on the guy's body. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Danny, what percentage did they make up, by the way? Oh, the fire department uh, just went going back! Uh, 14%. 14%. So, not that much higher than 3% as the one that makes up the most. Right? What? Three times the amount. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, percentage wise. 4.4. Which one are you? Do you know? I don't know. What if you had to guess, Matt? Which one would you say Sydney is? I don't know. I don't know it that well. Uh, I would say, let me see. Let me see them again. Okay, so it's introverted, extroverted, intuitive versus logical reasoning or something. I forget. I honestly forget that. Let me see the the uh, uh, which I'm gonna call it Myers Briggs grid. Now, let me make a thing and said you can take it and see if I'm right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there is there a way that you can test your uh, what's that? Whoa. There we go. Read them and weep. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Maybe I'm an INFJ. I might be an INFJ. <laughs> 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 I can probably pull it up. I probably have an email of it. Mm. What, you're pulling up documentation? Are you looking for receipts right now? Yeah. I'll look for receipts, dude. <laughs> yeah. What no, the I don't got nothing. Do you know what you are, Tim? No, I have no idea. Yeah. This is girl stuff. Probably the coolest one. Whatever. Coolest. <laughs> I know. It's like, yeah, Gemini. I'm a Gemini. Can what you sort that? these by coolest, coolishness? <laughs> sort, this, sort this by whichever one's the coolest. I'm probably you know, somewhere near the top. Yeah. 95th percentile. Which, which one's most likely to be like samurai in nature? Like that's, that's me. I don't know. There's the architect, logician, commander, debater. Diplomats. Oh, this is so fucking. Sid, have you ever talked about what it was like for you when the movie Blade came out? <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> dude, I felt like I was like, this must be what it's like to do drugs. <laughs> like, I, I was so straight edge. That's a religious experience. Yeah, dude, that was the sickest thing in the world. Dude, Wait, did fuck. you have the box at the time, or was that Dreads time? No, no, no. I had like a little after. That would make you a bad on. guy if you had Dreads. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. yeah. The I Blade didn't Universe. Yeah. I, I had like a little a cool little afro thing going on, but it was uh yeah, dude, Blade was sick as shit, man. It was yeah. like oh man, yeah. Is there anything more evil in a henchman than being a black guy with dreads and like a <laughs> vest but no shirt on under oh, it? God, <laughs> doing cartwheels and shit. Dude. Goatee, black guy goatee, skinny as fuck. Yeah, those guys are evil motherfuckers. Yeah, a lot of time, a lot of trench coat activity too. Yeah, mm -hmm. long trench coat. Oof. Well, it's yeah. tough. I mean, Uzi it's shit. It's tough having a. I guess you get a rise to prominence pretty high in bad guy world if you have a goatee. Like you can't be the top, but you can be like nah. second from the top. Yeah, exactly. Henchman, henchman yeah. status. Bad guy's usually like a very intricate mustache. Mm -hmm. What was the movie with? Uh, I mean, I, I'm taking us into a void because I can't remember. Yes. It was the worst. Fuck! What was it, dude? And it had uh, who was the bad guy? Maybe some like the Batman universe where it was like a like a big black guy who was like a crime boss. Did you ever see that old... That You're talking show? about Daredevil when they had Black Kingpin? Was that Black Kingpin? Wasn't it Michael yes, yes. Clark Duncan or whatever? I think so. I think it was the guy from the Green Mile. Yeah, 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 yeah. Black Kingpin. Okay, yeah. That might be the best bad guy of all time. <sighs> mm. Let's do some business. <laughs> oh, it's strictly business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It that was, capital B, Big Boss. Big Boss. That's who it was. That's, it was Big that's Boss. That's huge. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. Obviously, everyone fantasizes about just being big as fuck and wearing the freshest suit and being number one. <laughs> I'm in control of all the crime. Yeah. I'm the big boss. Yeah, and then a fucking teenager just keeps breaking your shit. <laughs> You yeah. fucking little piece of shit. You little white Dude, piece I actually, of shit. I passed a uh, like an industrial area the other day, and I'm like, that would be cool to start developing like shut down industrial parts, so you could just like vamp out. <laughs> you could just move that, <laughs> and it's full. I was saying like fully blade out, and like you could live in like have like a have like a whole little neighborhood where it's like the lights are like kind of blinky and strobing, and you could be like, boom. <laughs> 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 I, dude, I, you I know was what? telling Brittany about that. She's like, "That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard." I also, I also fuck heavy. What the underworld universe? Uh, come on, the uh, the 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 Kate Beckinsale vampire werewolves movies. It was like White Lady Blade. Yeah, that was Blade for white women. <laughs> yeah, you gotta merge. You gotta merge the universe. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, or like. Ba basically, uh, it was more badass. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it was Maybe like it was Blade for goth women. girls. Are women still badass? Uh, they were badass there for a while. Yeah, they're kick badass. ass. They're kick ass. Yeah. Are they still kick I ass? Or no? I think they're getting into like being confused about adulthood mode <laughs> yeah. for a while. They're gonna go through a little bit of that, and then they're gonna go back to being girl bosses. <laughs> I thought they. I were want them to go back to Tomb Raider. Cyclical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be funny if you see like a girl archaeologist and be like, "What the fuck." Dressed like a fucking fifth grade teacher. Put on some <laughs> Daisy Dukes, dude. Bust those titties out. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> dude, that's one of my one of my major gripes with the WNBA is that they're wearing boy clothes. Yeah. And they, and they look like they're wearing boys' clothes. Like they're too big. What would you them. put them in? Like a Hooters uniform? <laughs> <laughs> Say those shorts aren't short enough. Speed suits. Put them in speed suits. Put them in lingerie. Yeah. There was, was it, didn't they have like a football league where it's like women in lingerie? Dude, mm. Australia, uh, their women play in speed suits, basically. Really? Yeah. The hell is a speed suit, though? Like the thing that, uh, tra <laughs> like they wear in track. What? Yeah. The hell's that? Like the tight, the, the really tight. But like they have shorts, so it's all spandex. It's like form fitting. Really? Like yeah. a singlet? Kind of? I mean, yeah, yeah, singlet. Can we, yeah, can we look up Australian women's basketball? I'm trying to see what Sid's talking about. They dress like American gladiators, basically. Or Rob Van Dam. They wear like wrestler outfits. Yeah, they dress like Rob Van yeah. Dam. They, was, they wear one piece bathing suits and play basketball. Yeah, like more like, That's a good, like a surfing suit. You know, like a. Uh, oh, like a wetsuit kind of thing? Yeah, it was not a wetsuit. It's not. Dude, there's free. no way the Australian women's basketball team plays in Yeah, they just wear regular basketball uniforms. So. That must be new. I'm telling you. Yeah. Australia That's used to play. Not, they, they what do you, you have it, Noah? Yeah. Thank you. It's pretty powerful. What the fuck? Yeah. When is that? I don't know. Dude, I mean, they, that's, how, that's how they played in the Olympics for as long as I can remember. This, this, this shit, this, wear, this wearing them basketball shit, this is new. Shit, Sid, you are sharking on white ladies on another level. Right? <laughs> 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 <The> Australian basketball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, dude yo, my white lady hits the hell? And then he was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. No, but that, no, 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 has, has, it. no, no has, has it. No has it. Yeah, no has it. No has it. No has it. Right there. Upper right. Yeah, you got it. Now you're right. Let me see that. Yeah, 2021. Oh Look my that. god! Yeah, dude, so they that, just switched. You're no, nah, they didn't just switch. It's 2021. They must plugged in. What are you talking about? There must have been a phase where they went and then they went back. Because when I was introduced to women's Australia, like back in the day, <laughs> when I would see them play, it was like, holy shit! I can't believe they're wearing that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You're, you're right to be on the trail. Of this. Yeah. yeah. You're right to be bloodhound in this. They went now. back because the the uh, Australian workforce was sexually exhausted by it. <laughs> <laughs> they also need to lower the rim. WNB. That's lower, high key behavior. All I'm saying, the fact that you fought, you're like, well, 2021, they're in a spandex. They took a dip. They must have come back. That's high T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. high T. <laughs> to be just just bloodhound in the uniforms of the Australian women's basketball team. <laughs> it's so fucking high T. It's so high T. It's crazy, dude. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> that is so tight. <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn. <laughs> what a bitch ass existence I live right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Oh man. That rule. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean that's my world, right? That's my bubble. Yeah. It's the sports so world. Fucked it's, up. The athletics world. <laughs> it's the world of athletics. I hear you. Sports. Dude, like like you don't know celebration but, of the body, the physique. I, watch this, watch this. Do, like has Chun Li gone yeah. through outfit changes over time? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? Don't ask me a fucking stupid question, Sydney. No. Good point. 
Yeah, my version of that is just tennis ladies moaning while they play. Uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always give a little volume up. Yeah. On that. Uh. 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 <laughs> I always enjoy that. <laughs> uh. Yeah, put up. You got um. But it's either Venus or Serena. One of them sounds like she's always being entered, and the other one sounds like she's always being stroked. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Bro. There goes the fucking Kellogg sponsorship, you <laughs> fucking dickhead. King Richard would fucking smack you right now, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You're like the kid at the court, dude, who was like, yo, Ma, come here. Your dad's a fucking bitch. You see the King Richard? <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Ansley watched that movie, though. She reported, it was good. I she reported it. back to me. She said it was pretty sick, and I would, I would like it. I watched it on the plane. It was pretty good. Yeah. So I like it. She said I was, so I like it. You would love it. Yeah. You actually probably shouldn't watch it, to be fair. That's why I'm not, man. It's yeah, like, don't I don't want to be influenced. I'm doing a thing right now. I yeah, don't want to. Don't. Yeah. Don't. You'll I don't want. I don't want to get into thinking about what people think about me and my family out there working out and shit. I mean, people are kind of in the movie. They're kind of pumped, but that might yeah. take you to the next level. That might take you to the next level. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm not. Like, dude, one of the things that I really <laughs> enjoy watching my son do is like be social. I was. I wasn't a social little kid. I didn't have a lot of social outlets. I was just at home getting good at shit. That's yeah. all I did all day long. So right. it's like seeing that my son like enjoys getting good at stuff kind of but also he'd much rather like be on the tablet socializing with his friends and shit playing minecraft it's pretty sick to me to see that is so, right. yeah i was like <laughs> i was upset sounds like he takes after pierre <laughs> <laughs> You're so voyeuristic, yeah. dude. <laughs> You're so voyeuristic. <laughs> dude, I am. I'm a very voyeuristic person. Yeah, I know. Dude. I see that. Yeah, I was like, dude, I was like, dude, I used to like cruise around and like observe people's families' lives. I've, dude, I've I, spied on my cousins before. Yeah, I just spied. Yo, my how annoying house. would it be to cuck Sydney though? With Sydney in the room, just like, yes! Like, just like, woo! Just like, yeah. just cheering way too hard, getting way yeah, too right, pumped they, up. Right, throw it back. Let's Show go. Up the tomato, girl. Let's go. God, that'd be brutal. Come yeah. on. I just thought, come on, come on. We, we, we work out. Yeah, you're a bull's yeah. nightmare, dude. <laughs> Bro, you might be a bull tamer. You might be an absolute bull tamer. <laughs> <laughs> Form correcting and shit. <laughs> yeah, come on, dog. You gotta put your back in. She does lunges and shit, man. So, yo, you can't be coming uh, up those weak hips. Let me get five bucks. You you five, give me your lighter. Shit, dog. <laughs> give me your lighter, yeah. dude. Just yo, taking lighters from kids. Read so the fun. sign. No weak hips. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre would do it so different, dude. <laughs> <laughs> God, dude. that's the thing. No one measures up to Pierre. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, no. I let Pierre do his thing, man. Dang. I'm not gonna critique Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> Which U.S. state has the motto "Live free or die" on the license plate? Easy. Yeah. Done. Done. I finally might get one. I don't know. Now I'm getting panel. All right, like, let's see the answer. Is this even a state? Is New Hampshire a state? Wait, is Virginia VA? That's for lovers, brother. Yeah, yeah. dog. That's the opposite. New Hampshire. Whoa. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. correctness. Fucking anything. Yes. <laughs> Virginia's for lovers, Boom. brother. Oh, I, don't <laughs> I don't understand a goddamn Virginia's thing. Virginia's basically <laughs> come tread on me. Baby. No way. <laughs> yeah, <it is>. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah new hampshire baby <laughs> yes mm. tim might have to send out the tweet he might he's got this, oh, we got, hey, we get to co-author the tweet as dual champs Mm. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna drag down any conversation you guys try to start so I can make this up. <laughs> no, actually, I don't know what you're talking about, and yeah. honestly, I'm not even interested. This kind of sucks. Actually, I had an idea in the bathroom. Something that's been coming in, a <laughs> dude. <laughs> Why? Oh, what I can't think in the bathroom? This has been coming in, and I've been like, I've been thinking this and going, oh yeah, for sure, I'm gonna do that and i forget it all the time but i think i actually might i want to start an aggressive youtube ad campaign 
and try to do the most confusing ads possible. Okay. Just what's, hit what, people with the weirdest shit and just having people like, what the what's the call to action in the marketing campaign? That's a thing. I might not have one. <laughs> I might not have an call to action. <laughs> I might just stunt on YouTube ads <laughs> and just do a weird video that makes no sense to confuse. And there'll be, there'll be, the whole ad will be before you even could click. I bet for similar money, you could do a real life billboard. I thought about that before. Yeah. I thought about doing a billboard where it's just me and it says, like, welcome to Philadelphia. <laughs> and there's no explanation. There's no explanation. I just welcome to Philadelphia. <laughs> there is a there is a Twitch streamer that had a billboard in Philly down by the stadiums. Really? Be like, it was like, you know, whatever, zero cool or whatever. And it was a dude in basically a, like an esports jersey, which looks kind of like a bowling shirt, just like standing there. And it was like Philadelphia's professional gamer. Yeah. His, he had a he put up a he's Twitch a, he's billboard. He's a gamer laureate. It's it's insane. That's pretty sick. What? Never seen anything like that before. Yeah, see, I might start. Do, I've thought that billboards my main fantasy, but I want to start with like Facebook ads. I might start taking out like nonsensical Facebook ads, <laughs> and then move into nonsensical YouTube ads. It'd be kind of fun, dude. Are you? I mean, as a gamer, if you put up a billboard claiming to be Philadelphia, bro, I'm a gamer. That's like come it, at me, bro. I did actually kind of squeeze the steering wheel. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Have you peeped him out? Is he nice? No, I never looked him up. I, I didn't even want to put him on my radar. Mm. I didn't want to, like... Start. You don't want to give him a platform. You don't Because I would look at him and I'd go, I don't want to do that. And then yeah. it kind of just sour me on the whole thing. Like, oh, that's what people really like? Well, my thing is... I guess I'm a fucking idiot. Throw down the gauntlet, dude. So, throw down uh, the gauntlet. for 2500 bucks, you could get a digital billboard a month. Yeah, that's like two seconds, though. I need the whole... I need a hot so, thing. So, a larger billboard would be 3500 A month? A month. I thought they were like twenty grand. Nope. What? <laughs> we'll see. Maybe for my, <laughs> maybe for my birthday. <laughs> it's all coming together. Oh man! Nonsensical advertising, dude. Infiltrating advertising was just nonsense. I want to. I want to put a Stoner Dad's uh, thumbnail on a billboard for uh, for thirty five hundred dollars. I'll save that up. Yeah, that would be. Pretty I'll save sick. that up. That would be pretty sick. That would be confusing. Yeah, <laughs> alluring. Like four in episodes. It's everything. Like, like the full thumbnail. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just one of the YouTube thumbnails oh on a billboard. God. Anyone for like a month? Yeah. Oh. Let's put the spider legs. <laughs> Dude, that would be that crazy. would be the most intense billboard Listen, ever I'll, created. I'm willing yeah. to skip them all. Thirty five hundred. Why don't we just put our put Yo. our Patreon money? Yo, yeah. thirty five hundred dollars. Where though? Like where? Where's the location, guys? I want the business along I, along I ninety five in Philadelphia. Really? Yes. For a whole month? Mm. I swear to God, I've 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 got pricing on these before. Okay. I thought it was like fourteen yeah. grand. They might have they might have dropped. Or what about on though. like the Walt Whitman Bridge where it's just like come see, you know, a Frank. They might have dropped band in they may City. have dropped substantially though, because everyone's put putting their money on like digital marketing. Yeah, by the way, Tim, I think you'll appreciate this. Uh, uh, uh Finn helped me design the spider lakes thumbnail. That was great. Yeah. That, that thing was, was a massive. Yeah, he was job. like Yeah, I've been letting him sit in with me while I do the thumbnails and I finally let him like Go on one. Yeah, like get get at it. Yeah, oh, man. Did I tell you how pleased I was that people liked how much Armored Core talk there was. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, it was a great. So that was pleased. fun. That was fun. I felt in my body that was, was a fun time. Over <laughs> over the moon on that. Are they? They're only thirty five hundred bucks, Danny. You might have to sign like multi. Uh, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, you can't just get a month. I so think. it ends up being twenty grand. Yeah. That's yeah. what it's I think, like dude. Seven, that's exactly what I think I found out. Lease. Yeah. Nah, they. I'm telling you, I think someone hit me up from Clear Channel one time and was like, "Dude, let me know." And at the time, I was like, "I can't do it." I though. think so. Whatever they they lock you in for so many months until it adds up to twenty grand. I guarantee it pays for itself before the end of the the agreement. Probably. I guarantee it. Yeah, I think so too. We put a, we put a Patreon ad up. That's why these big fucking companies do this, dude. Yeah. We got it, dude. We have scared money right now. We have to make money. Mm. We have to double that. <laughs> we have to spend every dime. We have to, yeah, we have to turn this into a uh, profit-driven enterprise. That's what I'm saying. You know, I'm actually not going to say anything that doesn't get us closer to making more money. I'm trying to get into third space economics, where you completely forget about money and just see how long you can live your life until like you just get foreclosed on. Yeah, third space economics. I'm gonna let you guys do. <laughs> I, think I might be right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like for me, this is the gateway to pimping. 
Pimping? Yeah. Pimping. So I got. I let you guys handle the business. Let me see your pimp hand. Pretty pimp. Dude, I don't even want to. Dude, I want to. <laughs> I'm, 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 like, I'm not trying to do. I'm not trying that's to trigger. Pimp, that's pretty pimp. I'm not trying to trigger any pimping in me. But, that's right. Yeah, that's a dude. Damn, man. Was that a soft check? Yeah. No, I want to see his pimping. What the fuck, dude? Dude, dude? dude, I'm a fucking out of control. For, hug, the, great, for the greater <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm an out of control. I'm a mouthy <laughs> yeah, hoe, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of control. <laughs> You're a fucking bottom bitch right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one to be fair. Yeah, I mean he wasn't acting like a bottom bitch. He was acting like a I was acting like a trick new, ass ho. A new ho. I was acting like, like a new ho. <laughs> I need to be yeah. broken in. Yeah. He needs to go see the bottom bitch. That is funny. They for some reason like I mean they're like intensely evil human traffickers and like they just dress so cool and talk so cool. Like those dudes kind of rule. Mm. Like they're pretty cool the way they go about that. Yeah. They just act like like 15th century French guys kind of. <laughs> Dude, we respect like, no, merchants cool. of any kind. Yeah. Anybody who's about that business we can't help not respect them. Uh, child porn peddlers. Well, <laughs> did you respect that hustle though? I don't. Did you respect no, that I hustle? I, that I give it up on purpose. <laughs> to that grind. Yeah, that's that. That's a on fucked principle, up thing. Rep. That's a fucked up thing. Child porn peddlers shouldn't be doing that. But what about their grind though? I don't know anything about, about their, their grind. grind. <laughs> 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 I don't know that grind. is pretty perilous. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's not. <laughs> You Dude. wouldn't give that. He did his thing, you know. Yeah, he did. He did. Nah. He did it big. Or if he did it big. <laughs> what if he did it big? I mean, I did kind of think that about Cosby for a split second. <laughs> when, it, when his numbers, came, when his final numbers came out, it was like it's pretty prolific. He did it big. <sighs> yeah, he did it big. I was talking Cosby with because I wife. don't think that stuff. <laughs> I was talking Cosby with my wife recently, and I I was getting that whole thing like it was a seven. It was a different time, man. Guys are partying and they're fucking. You're on Quaaludes. You think everyone else likes Quaaludes? It's like it just yeah. so happens to be you're into a kind of a date rape drug. I did this with weed brownies when I was younger. Yeah. Luckily, you know, I wasn't caused up. I was just like, all right, I got to go. I'm weirded out. You're weirded <laughs> yeah. out. I'm going home. <laughs> In 10 years, there's going to be a girl complaining about some guy got her all loose with comedy podcasts. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat> no way. You don't think comedy it's podcasts the, are going to be the quaalude? <laughs> it dry. It's the fucking desert, bro. <laughs> it's a desert sand. <laughs> Nothing fucking dries your baby up like a comedy podcast. <laughs> this is no girls Dude. allowed, bro. Uh, that's funny. Yeah, that's what I love when I see a comment. It's like me and my wife are watching this on the TV. Yeah. Dude, can't get enough. It's Why like, are you doing dude, that she's fucking her? cheating on you. <laughs> <laughs> the more retarded podcast that you make her watch, like the harder she's getting dick down by someone else. For sure, <laughs> keep it, keep him out of this business. Bro. <laughs> There's part of me that when I see the couples come out, like, oh, we love it. I'm always like, that's so nice, man. You guys are both into the same thing and enjoying the same. It's crazy. No, that is beautiful. It is a nice thing. But to I'm, be fair, I'm goofing around saying that. I know, but girls hate this stuff. <laughs> it's true. When people, when dudes bust up their Spotify, like you've spent two thousand hours. <laughs> what you're saying is, <laughs> when those numbers go up. Someone's just fucking. <laughs> Dude, you could graph that with a whiteboard. <laughs> You're saying the dude in, his, in her office that got a Series 6 test or whatever is just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> like, she's feeling things she's never yeah. felt before. And she's like, oh my God, this guy got a Series 6. He's probably going to make $85,000 a year next year. Oh, That's man. Crazy. Oh, fuck, dude. You're leaving You're leaving YouTube comments like, I don't know why these guys are laughing so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your wife's getting whitewashed in a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that sucks so bad. That sucks so bad, dude. I think about that constantly, dude. <laughs> and my wife cheated on me. <laughs> Just being like, you fucking jerk. Dude. I'd be, I think that, I think that'd be my reaction. I'd be like, you jerk. You shouldn't have done that to me. You shouldn't have had a scandalous affair yeah. behind my back. So I think it would probably go that way. What's that? Let me see that. Getting plowed. Uh, he's the next man. <laughs> 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 Exponential increase. Yeah. At some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually just like a guy like murdering her in her trunk. That's like that's like the <laughs> pinnacle of women's sexuality. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Getting in the podcast is step one to murdering your wife and trying to hide her body. <laughs> I think I, I think that's like the best. Like you're just getting slammed and all of a sudden some dude's like choking you and the, the height of women's sexuality. A guy cuts your head off and hacks you in a bunch of pieces. Yeah. And no one ever finds your body. 
Mm-hmm. And you just have the girl like happiness that you, there's pictures of you everywhere on Facebook and like candles all around your image. Yeah. That's like as horny as a girl can get for like ideally, dead body. Like ideally you plunge a sword into the guy's back in complete darkness. You're lit only by like brief lightning flashes. Oh, she sees the whole thing in like strobe motion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the blood dripping on it. <laughs> yeah, you avenging her? Yeah. Babe, no, 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 fuck, don't leave it. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. That makes him fucking castle horny. <laughs> <laughs> That's a specific type of horny that women are all capable of is castle horny. Oh, yeah. <gasps> to be fair to the protector <laughs> they types. Get ma- they get maiden horny. <laughs> the, perfe- the protector types can't get them so horny. Yeah, that's the whole point. They're the dudes that wake up in cold sweat with dog tags. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, babe. Oh, God, I need some time by myself on this well-lit, moonlit veranda. <laughs> Did you ever see Star Wars? That's kind of what I need to do right now about what's going on in my life. <laughs> yeah, dude, I want to protect you so fucking bad. I, was, I, was I have tank- to fight for what's right at the same time, and I'm confused. I was hanging on. Are you talking about Luke just standing <laughs> looking out at the two sons? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that gets a wet, bro. That's nice. She that gets me wet. Yeah. That's fucking hot. Dude, as I had this uh, one time I was hanging out on the street with uh, a comedian that we all know, and he was he, with his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And it was the three of us out there talking. It was over by Medusa. Yeah. And some car went by or something. Something made a really loud sound, and she got scared, and she grabbed me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I every, t- every time I see him post something woke, I, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I think about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <dude. laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, I mean, did they, what was the reaction to that? Like, what the uh, hell? He made some jokes about it, but it was like that's dumb. That that Sydney grabbed her shoulder and slapped her and said, "Snap out of it! <laughs> You're hysterical!" And, and then I wow. pulled her into yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, dude, that's the tears of a clown for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's so funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, we used to we used to kind of be close, and that was kind of the beginning of the end of our friendship. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When you cemented your place in the Mortal Kombat totem, dude, she she reacted. <laughs> oh, what man. if she was like, yeah. I heard this guy got hit by a car and lived and fucking <laughs> held on to you. <laughs> yeah. I kind of gotta do this. It would be funny if I was remembering it wrong and I grabbed her. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god, what was that? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is our last second to live. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, that's hilarious! Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's devastating stuff. Yeah, no, it was it was like because at first at first I was uh I felt a little bad for him, but then he started acting like a bitch on the internet like almost immediately. Well, was like, I mean, what option did he have at that point though? Yeah. To be fair, yeah. To be fair, this man entered your sacred circle. <laughs> anyone in your anyone in your just periphery or your sight is in your sacred circle, and within your sacred circle, your his girlfriend went. Her, her, like on a like the her like jeans were like, grab that guy right now. Yeah, and he had to go. Fuck, <laughs> shit. Yeah, and it's it's fuck. funny too because he was like one of these people that pride themselves in kind of being pussy like in nature in, in some regards. Dude, it's just a flex. That's a twenty first yeah. century flex. But oh yeah, macho guy. Oh yeah, man, I'm not even like that. I'm like a soft sensitive like all the guy in the movies who get. You talking about ball. sports ball guys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He is for sure. I'm like, the, I'm more of like the sensitive artsy guy from like Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. That's like kind of my <laughs> guy. Yeah. And then you see your girlfriend grab a guy, and you said, "I'm going on fucking testosterone <laughs> therapy." <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. My levels are low as hell. <laughs> I was talking to Spud about that. I think he's right. It's just a completely made up industry. It's like, oh, your your testosterone at this age should be at like 74, but it's at 30. So let's get that up. Okay. What, don't, why don't you think? Don't you think they would want to suppress the testosterone levels? No, they're getting them all up. They're they're why? Because everyone's I, I everyone's think, just dipping. I guess I don't know. If they are actually dipping, it would be good to increase them. But I don't know. Oh, I think they've been, you're, you're, you're thinking government. He's thinking capitalist. Yeah, I'm thinking you're. I'm talking supply and demand. You tell a dude, it's like right. So every dude is now the Terminator. Obviously, they're, it's getting there. Every dude's Terminator, and. <laughs> The if, the, if there was it. someone controlling everything, you'd think that they would want to prevent that kind of thing. Now everyone's yeah. walking around like the buff dog meme. 
Yeah, but you get them addicted to the juice. You got them, dude. They gave them, they rolled out CrossFit, and then they guess what? They were go, guess what? What if you got a prescription for CrossFit? Bam, testosterone levels through the roof. You're doing snatches with jacked ladies. <laughs> yeah, hundred pull ups. But then you can you you probably pull the wool over their eyes pretty easily. It's, it's clone army. You can get a clone <laughs> army going. You get a bunch of guys jacked like, dude, what? Oh, dude, oh, I think I have that too. And then you start being like. If people aren't vaccinated, they're actually spreading. <laughs> <laughs> what? Whoa, it's a clone. Grandma! <laughs> wow. Let's go! <laughs> yes! Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's I gotta, go. I gotta erase my grass. Let's pull ahead. Let's pull ahead. Let's pull ahead. All right. Among land animals, what species has the largest eyes? Mm. <sighs> land animals. Oh. I got it. There's no way I'm spelling this right. Here we go. <clears throat> got it. All right. All mm. right. And that's right. A paragraph. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I <laughs> yeah. I think I'm wrong. What do we got? Fuck. What All do you right. Got? Answers, please. Uh, I have an I. I. I don't know if that's a real animal. <laughs> uh, so you guys doubting my animal shit? So I mean, dude, he was on point with Australian women's basketball uniforms. Yeah, yeah. I have that. Oh, uh, vaguely. I have that one tiny monkey with those big ass eyes on planet Earth on the episode of Planet Earth. That, that's what the answer is end up going to be, but I think I is actually. And Tim's answer is elephant. Elephant. All of them are wrong. Ostrich. Fuck. Piece of shit. I was going to say oh. owl, but that was like, is that a land animal because it lives in trees? Yeah, see, I fucked up. I thought he was asking biggest eyes in proportion to their body. <laughs> I didn't oh, think he was like biggest uh, eyes. Yeah, I could see how you would That's have fair. imagined him th <laughs> well, you, saying like, that. Biggest <laughs> eyes in general? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 no, who, what, what animal has the biggest eyes in proportion to the body, just by the way? Thank you. Probably what? the old monkey from Planet Earth. I'm telling you, man, that monkey has the <laughs> cute ass fucking eyes. Good one. Oh, we're still tied though. We're still so as long as somebody's losing trivia, it's good. What's <laughs> 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 that? That little monkey from Planet Earth. I think so, probably. What do you say? Dudes. Dude, the eye eye yeah. actually has the tiniest eyes I've ever seen <laughs> that, on an animal. Dude. <laughs> Sid, I'm with you. Yeah. That's the proportionally biggest eyes in the body. So I think what you I thought the same. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Talking fucking sacred, you know. The eye eye's got some pretty Whoa. bulbous bolt. Uh, Dude, eye eye has little fucking ass eyes. What Those are tiny oh, eyes. Oh, they got the longest <laughs> fingers. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> what Dude, is that thing? I'm like high as fuck trying to remember episodes of Wild Crats that I've watched with my kids. <laughs> 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 I did the best I could. I'm sorry, guys. I think you wanted to bust out an eye eye, bro. Yeah, I mean. That was a bit of eye eye bragging. I might have been. I might have been up on my eye eye horse. <laughs> <gasps> Damn, I was close to that fucking cute ass little monkey from Planet Earth. Yeah, <laughs> shit, dude. Oh, we doing the? Uh, we're gonna do a Q and A too. Yes, let's slide in the motherfucking Q and A, the next level, dude. The top we're at of the forty eight now. Oh, let's keep rolling, man. Yeah. I don't wanna, I don't fuck these guys. I'm gonna fuck on. these guys up on this shit. Yeah. Did we get any feedback on the soda talk? I'm very curious about that. Oh yeah. I think oh yeah. People like, truly well, enjoyed the. Um, yeah. The presentation on soda, the history of soda last week. People are pumped. Man. That was fun. People are pumped. You can tell yeah. at this point. At this point in the game, you know when you did it. You, yeah, that was good. Like That's when you good. have like a li like like when you have like a limited wheelhouse of knowledge, and like something gets like close to that, it's like fuck. This is yeah. exciting, Sid. I live for it. <laughs> You're talking about what I live for. Just yeah. reading books and going. Come on, please get to that one fucking topic. <laughs> I know some my brain's holding information right now, like uh -huh. it's like water in hands. So I'm like, it's gonna leave my brain in two days. Please, we talk <laughs> are you sitting on anything that you can't wait to drop right now? No, nothing really. I, I really blew my wad with the fucking soda talk. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Um, no, I'm I'm right now. What do I have right now? Nothing really. Just the John Lilly stuff that I'm still I'm still I don't want to you know. Spill my wad on that yet. You know, yeah. Vice called him in the headline for the article that I found. They called him a ketamine addict. Or no, a drug yeah. addict. A drug addict. Mm. Really? Yeah. It was like how how a ketamine, how a drug addict helped, you know, in, you know, inspire Echo the Dolphin or whatever. 
Dang. And they're they pretty kind of cruel and dismissive of the man. And I, again, I didn't like it. It was total uh, vice shit. Yeah, they can be motherfuckers. Oh, too. they're pussies, man. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about beanie energy last week. A lot of fucking... That they're kind of like fuel. snickering and shit, like, and his wife had sex with the dolphin. <laughs> mm. Like, yeah. totally disrespectful. My thing is, if you figure out how to talk to dolphins, you should be able to jerk them off. For and I heard he didn't yeah. jerk them off. Yeah, his wife... It, was that even his wife who did it, who took up his research? Yeah, uh, Vice is edgy news for those, like... There's like white haired white guys that wear Columbia vests with long sleeve shirts underneath them. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like if you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, scarf man. Yeah, it's like stop. Fleece vests are total doctor wear. I got tripped out on that the other day. I said, God damn, dude. Every time I see a doctor in a hospital, he's in a fleece vest. Mm -hmm. Every single fucking time. I guarantee you he he fucks heavy with vice. You think? Yeah, that's their edgy, that's their edgy shit. It keeps them plugged in in a way like in an underground way. You know what True. I mean? True. It's like, yeah, I went to med school for this many years. I'm actually pretty fucking edgy and cool. Yeah, I can see that. I've never, uh, I was never a winter vest guy. I always kind of, I always, I always wished I could have been. Dude, I want to wear. I was always envious of like the the range of motion of your arms. Same. But camp. I was just like, that feels, but that feels like a winter wife beater. <clears throat> I don't think I can pull that off. <laughs> 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 I would tell myself every year, like, dude, this is the year I'm gonna wear. It. I feel like I'd love a vest. Mm -hmm. What's holding you guys back? I feel like that's like, uh, I don't know, man. Because it, it's the fear of showing up somewhere and everyone goes, so suddenly you're a winter vest guy now? Yeah, the Irish yeah. culture is the opposite of the black culture. If you're trying to be fly at all, you get roasted. So yeah, you, have but to be, I, you have to keep it very, like, w low key. Winter vest isn't, win like, so it seems like a tactical choice. You, you know what I mean? But and I feel like white people, the same way, like, uh, like every whether you wear them or not, or wore them for one day or just bought them, every black person had a pair of Tim's. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a white secret. We don't just buy clothes, and not wear them. We wear every single thing we buy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know we never saying? don't wear something we buy. But that's you never like you never fucked with vest. You ne no, never, man. I never fucking. I, I couldn't pull the trigger on it. I'm the same way. Same way as Butterly. I always think about buying them. I just, dude. You guys are gonna make fun of me, dude. My wife's been saying I need a scarf forever. I didn't buy a scarf. I bought a gator. She's What's like, that? it's a scarf. I said, no, it's a fucking gator. What's and a gator? I, it's just like a really tight scarf that wraps around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a circle, but you can yeah. pull it up over your face too. It's a fucking. It's for dudes, dude. It's for dude. It's, like a compression scarf. It, yes, <laughs> it's, it's, it's so much warmer, dude. It's crazy how warm I am. Are you a yeah? He's wearing a face weight. GI Joe ninja scarf. <laughs> kind of dude. Yeah. I, she said it's just. That's it, gotta go nasty with a hood too, <sighs> dude. It tucks in like a giant. It's hold a sword backwards. Yeah. <sighs> Dude, it's I like a crop balaclava. I can't stop wearing it, dude. I feel and like I walk outside. I basically feel like. Did you ever see the? Uh, fuck, where's the one? The cover for the one Bob Dylan album. I think it's blonde on blonde on blonde. Mm -hmm. That's why I walk outside. I go. I'm basically blonde on blonde Dylan right now. Mm. Let me see. Is this the right one? Yeah, dude. That's basically me. If you can pull up the blonde on blonde album cover when I put my scarf up. <laughs> I go, I'm basically blonde on blonde. <laughs> I've been walking around with blonde on blonde energy the last like five days. I won't take it off. That's wild. But mine's man. a gator. He's a fucking bitch. He's wearing a scarf. If I'm wearing a gator. It's just for dudes, not for girls at all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I forget I'm wearing it sometimes and I'm like, I, dude, I fucked up. I, I have that mushroom hoodie. I forgot. I wore that to fucking. Every time I've ever put on a scarf, a timer has started. And when it expires, I suddenly feel like my neck is covered in worms and I'm being tickled and itched at the same time. <laughs> and I have to get it off. It doesn't matter. I could still be in the middle of a blizzard. It's got to come off. I was, I'm shedding. I was a big, like, gloves are for pussies. I was a big, like, cold hardo where it's like, fuck, I'm fucking wearing gloves. Creature comforts bitch. are for pussies. Dude, yeah. it's it's the dumbest yeah. thing. I'm shedding the camp. I'm like, that's, you know. How many dudes do you know are walking around with permanent injuries from sledding? <laughs> I, don't know. I, I, I know I know of at least a couple of aches that I have are from really? hitting, hitting Junior at a golf course. Trying to jump at, the creek? Do you ever guys ever jump the creek? Absolutely. <sighs> Dude, there was a tree stump at the bottom that you would aim for to try to catch air. And a, a generation of spines were just compressed. Actually, multiple. <laughs> mm. Danny. <gasps> Bro. Yeah, we used to do the Clayton golf course. And you go down these big-ass hills, and it's there was the creek at the end you could jump, and it's pretty nasty stuff. It's tough, yeah. Tough sledding or something like There's that. There's a creek running at the bottom of the 18th hole, and everyone knew someone who went fully in splash. Yeah, yeah sled jumps are fucking terrible for you. <laughs> yeah. They're so bad for you. Yeah, and then like someone would like steal uh like the fake plastic snowboards from Kmart 
and we would hit that, try to do a front flip at the bottom. Oh, dude, those were so cranky, bad. dude, landing on your head. Fuck. Dude, those old snowboards that just had a flat back and one, like, stuck up front, like, these weird, like, golf spikes you stood on, those things were nasty. I want to say I want to try to shred on one of those again. You can't. Yeah. I can't find them. I tried to find one of those recently. I think they were like lawn darts. It was just too many, just lifelong in, like handicaps <laughs> generated by them. Yeah, I try to. Now they all come with like you're like not clicked in, but they have like the, uh, like the things you like hold your feet in, which is probably nastier for air. But I want to get into like cheap <laughs> snowboarding. Speaking of air, real quick, how how is your seven twenty been coming along? Oh no, it's the same as it's always been. Okay. Just a Same fucking that ever was you. I, I think I think it was unanimous. You got the furthest of us. Really? You? Uh, yeah. I think you might have rotated. Not on the further. first one. Not on the first one. My first one. People were claiming it was a three sixty. I was like, get the fuck out of here with that. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't remember. I just know I couldn't do the seven twenty. And I said, you know what? I might really hurt myself trying to do. This. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried working your way up like three sixty, then five forty? I mean, my whole life. Yeah, I think people, that, people like want to see a montage of us in Australian basketball uniforms, like holding a pad <laughs> under you while you try to spin and catch you, and you go a little bit further each time. <laughs> I think I <laughs> was at Sky Zone did. recently trying to bust 720. <laughs> Actually, if I recall, I, I think I did try another 720. Yeah, you put me on the tramp. I'm, I'm hitting them. I'm, I'm hitting some spins. Mm. Yeah, well, Brittany was giving me some pointers for, uh, she used to do gymnastics, so she was telling me, I, I forget it, I'm a fucking idiot, but she was like telling me the pointers for how you actually get rotation. And she was like, yeah, you totally fucked that up. Mm. <sighs> Fuck, babe, dude, why you fucking kick me while I'm down? <laughs> why, dude, she rubbed my head last night. I haven't got my head rubbed in forever. I forgot all about that. I was like, I was, I was like an eight-year-old boy out of nowhere. She started just like rubbing my head for three seconds, and I, it fell asleep immediately. I was like, <laughs> it was the, oh, my God, total bliss. Yeah, I think, I think a teacher rubbed my head one time. Oh, I think I might have had a headache in class and my teacher might have rubbed my oh, temples for me. It's fucking the best. That might have been the most nurturing act I received. It was embryonic, dude. I was like, I like, <laughs> before I fell asleep, I was like, oh man, this is, I was like, I remember this. This is like getting like physically cared for by a woman. I'm like, I kind of remember this. Fuck, dude. That's, how nice was it? Oh, <laughs> I fell asleep. And I've been so nice to her ever since. Yeah, you glimpsed the maternal ideal. Oh my god, it was mumbling. Your nervous system shut down. Dude, for real, just turned <laughs> off. Yeah, that's how you make a shark fall asleep. Dude, I, cause <laughs> I've been I've been challenging myself not to resort to to pacify myself with audiobooks. So I late it's it's fully a, a toddler tantrum. I just go like I just want to learn about cool fucking stuff. I'm like, dude, it's ten o'clock, dude. Go to bed. You'll be up till eleven. I'm like, I'm gonna lay there, but I'm not gonna fall asleep. I'm know I'm gonna be up. And then I hit the pillow and I just like I lay on my back. I'm like, I'm not gonna sleep. I'm gonna meditate. And I just completely just go off into the abyss immediately. I'm like done. I woke up to the monitor going off, and then like she was like, I'll get it. And she's like, rub my head for a second. And I was just like, fuck, I love it so much. Fucking <laughs> passed out for the whole night. Are you high most nights when you go to bed? No. Yeah. I don't. I actually avoid being stoned before sleep because what happens is. I'll wake up in a panic almost every single time. If I fall asleep while I'm stoned, I wake up and go, <gasps> yeah. it's the weirdest thing. Apparently, and the only person I've heard has this as well, uh, Joey Diaz talked about that. And I was like, brother, I thought it was just me. Yeah. I got to let like hours pass. Is it related to that thing where apparently like it, uh, it like short circuits your sleep cycle. So you bypass like light sleep and like it, something has the into I, REM sleep. Dude, I don't know what it is, but it like almost every, and it's the fucked up part is I'll lay there. And I'll, I haven't done it in so long because I, I hate this so much. But I'll lay there about to fall asleep and I'm tired and I go, it's going to get me. I know it's going to get me. And I fall asleep and I wake up around 1 o'clock going like, ah! and then my heart's going like 120 and I have to go, fuck, god damn it. I used to be able to sleep. What the fuck? Mm. So I have to like, I'm more of a daytime weed guy and I let it fade into the night. And then the worst is when I pig. If I'm drinking, but again, it's still rare. But it's like if I'm drinking, I pig every single time I take. It's like my absolute green light for totally pigging on weed, because it's so fun. Because there's just no bug. There's no bug out coming at all. I completely take the defenses down and then get so high that it's just I'm in like another dimension. And then falling asleep like that, I also don't like very much. <laughs> but I love that. Oh, you like dude, I hate yourself it. to sleep. I hate it. My my. What I'll try to do is what I was is actually works very well. If I was like if I was drunk and like very because I'll start picking on edibles and then I'm up it's like 2 in the morning because I can't I also won't be very tired mm. and I would just put on anime to like I just start to like dis, like disintegrate and it's Stop. that kind of rules that I like Stop, dude. I watch Steinsgate that in that fashion it's uh, you're you're describing 
the nicest setup in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch Steins Gate? Uh, you? No, you recommended it. Dudes, and... you have to go watch Steins Gate. I'm telling you, it's the best. I will. I have it. I took it in every episode almost at like two in the morning on various nights, just like, <sighs> fuck. Dude, timelines. They're jumping timeline. It's so fucking tight. Yeah, I think I might I might just start doing an edible in a Steins Gate. <sighs> yeah, what's it on? Uh, it's just YouTube. Netflix. YouTube. YouTube. No. Is it on Netflix? I think it is. I YouTube it. I would say uh -huh. go... Uh, this Japanese is, this is our American watching subtitles because you can do either one. You can do I I preferred reading and letting them talk, but I did watch some of the American subtitles. They are funny, but yeah, dude, Steins Gates, that's high level. It for me, damn I, Stoner Dad's Anime Club episode uh, one, dude. I love anime. <laughs> I've always loved anime. Yeah, hmm. I'm telling you, we needed we need to figure that out how would hard be it would be fun. An anime club, yeah, Stoner we're gonna Dad's watch anime club. Dude, yeah. I'm saying, why can't we make an anime? Is it that hard? Ooh, is it that hard to find an, an anime illustrator? Come up with possibly the sickest anime show ever. Oh my god! Wouldn't it be hard? I think we can get it done. We got to be approaching like the the altitude where we have access to that, right? You no, know, you know what we could do? We Is could program. <laughs> we could start with putting our social medias in the descriptions. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we, started take, we started taking this fucking thing seriously yeah. <laughs> for once in a while. That, dude, but I think I think, dude, if we set our hearts to it, I mean, with the way that. We're able to get shit done. We could have an anime within a year if we really wanted that. If we grind it out for yeah. one year, we get on the anime grind. Yeah, did you say the that. way we're able to get shit, dude? You realize we did four episodes last year. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is it's never going to happen. It could happen. Got it. We, can, we got this. No, we we can definitely do an anime cartoon. Oh boy, this is bringing me into dangerous territory. I typed in computer design anime and it's nothing but hot hentai babes. Uh, fuck, <laughs> abort. Mm -hmm. I've had porn dreams the last two nights. Mm. Vicious porn dreams where I'm like, I wake up going like, fuck, I gotta tell everyone. And I'm like, oh, it was a dream, thank fucking God. But I go, boy, did I pig out. It's the ghost of Nog Dude, Pass. For sure, just. <laughs> as pure simulation. <laughs> Man, Crazy. sorry to hear that. It's hard the da the daemon. It is what it is. You in your dreams. It is what it is. I'm still ta I'm classified <laughs> rated retarded right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, I uh, it's very <laughs> funny waking up and being like, no fuck, dude. Mm. Then I go, oh, that was just a dream. Sweet. Yeah. But Jesus, what, what a crazy pull on the psyche. <laughs> yeah. What a crazy pull on the psyche. Yeah. Two nights. I had two fucking two porn dreams. Oh. I had a pee my pants dream <laughs> and two porn dreams. <laughs> The last two nights. I didn't pee my pants, thank God, but yeah. I woke up going, I definitely did. You did it this time. Does that equal one R. Kelly dream? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there, there has to be a German word for when you're taking a piss and you have a split second where you think that you're asleep in your bed. <laughs> you're pissing into the toilet and suddenly you go, oh no, I'm in bed. And then you come back. There's, Isn't that what a zeitgeist yeah, is? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're in Freud. <laughs> All right, I think we're, yeah. I think we're gonna go over yeah. to- uh, That's the Ubenmensch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do a Q&A.